Mary's childhood was not easy. She was born in a very poor family in England, and of her parents' ten children, only Mary and her brother Joseph reached adulthood. Her father died when she was just 11 years old. As Mary was a child and she was also poor, she could only go to Sunday school, where she barely learned to read and write. To help provide for her family, Mary helped her parents collect fossils and pebbles from the cliffs and beaches close to home to sell them to tourists. When her father died, she continued to do so, although it was a very dangerous job because there were often landslides. Mary was very curious, brave, and intelligent, so she began to be interested in the fossils she found and to wonder what animals all those strange bones belonged to. At the time, it was thought that they were creatures that lived on the seabed or came from distant lands, but Mary wasn't so sure. She began to read and study a lot about fossils and paleontology, and thus began to form her own ideas. Those fossils she found were not of any known animal. What if they were animals that had lived many years ago and now no longer existed? Mary's first great discovery was the complete skeleton of an ichthyosaur, a marine reptile over 5 meters long. Then she found the fossil of another marine reptile, a plesiosaurus. And then she found a skeleton of a pterosaur, a flying reptile. It was evident that animals like those did not exist today. Mary was certain they belonged to creatures that had died out millions of years ago, a revolutionary idea. Mary also discovered that some strange fossils that nobody knew what they were or where they came from were actually fossilized poop. This was a great discovery because studying dinosaur poop is very important as it helps us learn about how they lived and what they ate. With all these discoveries, Mary proved to be a true expert. However, being a woman, she could not go to university nor be a member of any scientific group. Many of her discoveries went unnoticed or were attributed to other men. How unfair! Although Mary never saw the recognition she deserved, today she's recognized as a pioneer in the field of paleontology and one of the most important paleontologists in history.